What is going on, all you amazing viewers to be named later? How are we doing today? Having a good morning? Having a good night? Are your kids adjusting to going back to school? As of filming this video, mine go back in 24 hours and the hostage situation is done! Couldn't be happier. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time it is when you're watching this video right here. Yeah, I'm a little freaking hyper monkey today, but still, we got another one from the Yellowstone collection for you. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's right, Jimmy's Cowboy Chili, oh, excuse me, Jimmy's Cowboy Chili with Beans. Slow cooked seasoned beef with kidney and pinto beans simmered in a tasty blend of chili spices and topped with cheddar cheese. Ooh, mama, does that sound good. <sighs> the Cowboys don't say goodbye. That was from a penultimate episode in the show to me where Jimmy left for the four sixes and Rip had to basically console him. Yeah, I love that show. I really do. I don't know how they're going to move forward without Kevin Costner, but we're going to see, right? November will be here before we know it. And supposedly, that's when the last part of the last season picks up. Going to be phenomenal, but still. It was under 10 bucks. Seriously, I think it's like the five to six buck range in my local big box store. It's under 10. I know, big stoop. Look, bro. <sighs> if I was smarter, I would check that big box store's app and I would see exactly what I paid for it. But I'm not that smart. <laughs> for those of you who want to see the nutritional facts on the back of the box, there they are. Now, okay, one serving per container. Damn. 30 grams of protein, which is 47% of your recommended daily allowance. Woo-hoo, doggy. Okay, hold on. I really, really... All right, this one's made out of Ohio because I brought one before that was made out of Canada, so I don't know if they just repurposed everything, but I... it's got a neat packaging, got all kinds of cool stuff, but all right, let's get at these instructions. Number one, prep, cut filmed event. I think we can do that. Step number two, cook on high for four minutes. Nah, we're not doing step number three. Unstir chili. Step three, uncover, stir, and recover. For those of you in the military, you really like that sound. Step four, cook on high for an additional two minutes. Step five, let sit for one minute. We're going to let it sit just a little bit longer than that. All right. I know me, you let it sit for one minute, you're going to be burning the inside of your mouth out. And seeing how I'm doing this for breakfast, I really don't want to be in pain all freaking day because of Jimmy's chili. Now, I will admit, I did not like the Jimmy character at first on the show. I really, really didn't. Thought he was a freaking idiot. But he grew into a whole bunch of stuff. And the four sixes changed him. And I really, really hope Taylor Sheridan doesn't scrap the four sixes. And it comes out because I'm really, really looking forward to it. Okay, like we usually do, that's what it looks like inside the tray before we get it all fired up. I like the fact it's got this little plastic thing, boozer. Yeah, yeah. But okay, you know what we got to do. We got to get this some bitch fired up. We got to get it cooled down. And we're going to get it in my belly. So stay tuned. We will be back in about two shakes of a lamb's tail. All right, I'm back. I gotta tell you, man, when this thing was in the microwave cooking, I was like, oh, that smells really, really, really good. But, all right, that's how it looks like in its little tray. All done up, all ready to go. But yeah, forgive me, we're, we're, we're doing things a little bit differently this morning, okay? Yeah, who hasn't done chili with Fritos? So let's see how good this stuff is. <sighs> Let's just get in this thing. All right. I get what I said stirred up because it seems like all the beans have run over to one side. <laughs> but let's do it.
Okay. Oh, I know what's going to happen. That's how much is left after about four bites. Uh, let's put you someplace safe so I don't accidentally knock you over. Okay. Is it good? Yes. I like the taste to it. It does not remind me of like I've talked about before. They have their own chili brand with Wagyu beef, with beans and without, inside my local big box store. I'd like to bring that to the channel, but it's kind of expensive for a can of chili. I think it's like six bucks for a can of chili with the Wagyu beef, which I understand. Wagyu is some of the best beef in the freaking world. There's that Kobe, Kobe beef, Kobe beef, sorry. Kobe is the best in the world. It's not overly spicy. I will be getting this again, and I will be going against my unstirred chili. I'm going to stir it up just to see if that makes a difference. Because, like, if you go hunt for the beans, they seem to be on one side. <laughs> you know? Everything else is on the other side. Great taste, great flavor, great smell to it, good price point. I swear, though, I think you're paying more for the name Yellowstone than you are for the actual meal. And I get it. Product placement, I get it, okay? Would I recommend it? Yes. Two thumbs up, most deaf. Two thumbs up. Just, I would really, really stir it next time. Me and, well, me being me. <laughs> Just saying. Now, we're at the best part of the video. Seriously, we really, really, truly are. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger. All that fun stuff right down below. Did you know this one existed before I brought it to the channel? It was a surprise walking through my big box store and I went, oh dear God, we got to try that. Kind of remember, reminded me of the day I found the Gordon Ramsay meals and I went, oh buddy. I still have yet to find Travis Kelsey's meals, but I think I never will. But that happens, right? What do you say? If you've tried this one before I and mean, you went back for it, did you add anything to it? Stu, hold the hot sauce. I get you, Stu. I get you, hot sauce. I get you, my brother. Okay? Looks it. Did you add anything to it? Let me know. I think it's great with Fritos. It'd probably be good with just a spoon right out of the plastic. Just say I, I had to go with Fritos. I just I had to. Fat boy, happy food. <laughs> now, if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that while filming this video, and because it's me, pretty damn sure that I did, hit that big old thumbs up. It's going to make three things happen really really truly is they're all free so hit that thumbs up so you can have the magic of three man that sounded like i'm uncharmed but so, it's gonna give you good karma you're gonna put out good you're gonna get good back i honestly believe that number two you're gonna show love and support for the channel which seriously is always appreciated and number three is the most important one really really truly is for any youtuber out there if they tell you it's not important they're lying their fucking ass off you're going to help trigger the algorithm. You're going to help wake it up and go, hey, someone likes this. Let's go look at it. YouTubers live and die by the algorithm. And the fact that YouTube keeps changing everything up will help us wake it up. But there we go. My quick, weird look tasting of Yellowstone. Jimmy's Cowboy Chili with Beans. Well worth your investment. Seriously, well worth your investment. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you're having a safe day today. And I look forward to seeing all of you in our very next video.